pursuit of architectural masterpieces created by Antoni Gaudí is a major visitor activity in Barcelona and one of the best is his phantasmagoric Parc Gouet, a whimsical whirl of colored ceramics, sculptures, sinuous benches, weird buildings, bizarre pavilions, and curved paths winding through a lush garden setting with a view across the city from its hilltop perch. The park structures are curved in a melange of fairy tale shapes covered with mosaics of broken tiles in a style called Trencadis. Most of these tiles are brightly colored, creating dazzling surfaces on the benches and columns, while other tiles are earth brown fragments covering various pavilions and structures that look like they have grown out of the ground. Craftsmen worked under Gaudí's direction to create these amazing mosaics by smashing porcelain plates and pottery into little pieces, then arranging them like a jigsaw puzzle. Some sculptures are similarly covered, especially the salamander fountain on the divided staircase that leads up to the 86-column hypostyle hall. There's usually a small crowd waiting in turn to be photographed next to the bizarre salamander. Gaudí was the city's most famous architect, best known for his still unfinished Sagrada Familia church, which is also worth seeing, but it's not as pleasing as this park. Gaudí lived from 1852 to 1926 and designed Park Gué at the beginning of the 20th century as part of a large housing project that never got built. Instead, we are left with this much more interesting and valuable 37-acre park that is one of the city's most popular attractions. Its main section consists of a broad terrace rimmed with benches and steps leading down to the front gate, which is flanked by two small Hansel and Gretel-inspired huts topped with ice cream sundae-shaped roofs. These small areas can get very crowded, making it difficult to properly appreciate this premium destination. So your best strategy is to arrive when the park opens at 10 a.m. in order to see the colorful sights without a thousand other tourists getting in your way. Park Gue is too far from the center to comfortably reach by walking, but you can get there in 30 minutes by public transportation, preferably bus number 24 heading in the Carmel direction, which conveniently drops you off right next to the upper level of the park. You can catch the bus from major downtown locales including Plaza Catalunya and along the Passage de Gracia. Alternatively, the metro could bring you to the general vicinity, but requires much more walking than the bus. If you prefer rail, take the metro Green Line L3 and get off at the Lesseps or Valcarsa stations and then tackle a 20 minute walk with the last portion leading up a steep hill. Some of that uphill climb is alleviated by public outdoor escalators running alongside the road and then into the park along a pleasant winding path through the woods. But overall you'll find it easier to take the bus. The same bus route will take you back to downtown after the visit. Gaudí lived on the property in one of the two houses that were actually constructed here. His home has been converted into a small museum of his memorabilia for the die-hard fans. However, there's not all that much in the way of attractions inside the house. They display some of the odd-shaped furniture designed by Gaudí, and visitors can enter his study, bedroom, living room, and other parts of the house. There is an admission charge, and the visit will take time, so you might find it unnecessary to enter this little museum, but you can certainly admire the outside of the house and garden for free, and it's conveniently located near the exit for the bus stop. It only takes 30 minutes to see this park from top to bottom, but you might linger in the gift shop and get something to eat at one of the two snack bars. Uh, there's food and seating at a lower cafe near the front gates, but there's a sandwich counter that's up above on the main terrace that has a pleasant outdoor ambience and kind of a strangely entertaining way of ordering the food. You tell the clerk your sandwich order 
And then he shouts it back to the kitchen and shouts back at you, five minutes, five minutes. I call you five minutes, five minutes, I call you. Without really taking your name or giving you a number or anything else. So you just wait around and then he'll shout out, tuna sandwich. And you go back and pick up your sandwich and it all works out pretty well in the end. Now this is not great food, but it's a simple sandwich on a long hard roll. And if you're hungry, well, it's right here and it's a beautiful setting and it's not very expensive, so that could hit the spot. Well, after your visit, exit out the east side of the park and walk a short block over to the public bus stop where you may have arrived and you get on the park side of the street. The bus stop uh, is right there and catch about a 10 minute bus ride that'll bring you down close to Gaudi's monumental masterpiece, the Sagrada Familia.